Turn indicator lights, also known as directional indicators, or flashes, are an essential part of all automobiles. They inform other road users, our intent, to turn left or right. There are several regulations and standards, that manufacturers must comply with, while designing and integrating turn lights on a vehicle. In this video, we will learn, how to design a bike turning indicator circuit. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 2. NPN, transistor, BC547, 2. 1 kilo ohm resistor, 2. 10 kilo ohm resistor, 2. 47 kilo ohm resistor, 2. 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, 2. Yellow LED, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, 1 slider switch, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. To understand the circuit diagram of bike turn indicator, we will first take the reference of LED flasher circuit. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. When we switch on the circuit, then current flows, through these two 50 kilo ohm variable resistors, transistor turns on. When it gets 0.7 volt at its base terminal, one terminal of capacitor C1 and C2, is connected to the positive supply, but it will not start charging, unless the second terminal connects with the ground. Let us assume, that after switching on the circuit, transistor Q2 will turn on first, when Q2 will turn on, it will connect the negative terminal of green LED, with the ground, so green LED will turn on, at the same time, one end of capacitor C2, will connect with the ground, another end is already connected with the positive supply, so capacitor C2 will start charging, in the beginning, capacitor will be fully discharged, and try to suck all the available current, to get fully charged, when it will draw the current, then voltage at C2, will suddenly draw below 0.7 volt, C2, is connected with the base terminal of transistor Q1, so Q1 will turn off, red LED will remain off, until the transistor Q1 turns on. After some time, when the voltage at C2, goes above 0.7 volt, then transistor Q1 will turn on, when Q1 will turn on, it will connect the negative terminal of red LED with the ground, so red LED will turn on, at the same time, one end of capacitor C1 will connect with the ground, another end is already connected to the positive supply, so capacitor C1 will start charging, in the beginning it will be fully discharged, and try to suck all the available current, this will suddenly drop the voltage at C1 below 0.7 volt, C1 is connected with the base terminal of transistor Q2, so Q2 will turn off, green LED will remain off until the transistor Q2 turns on. This process will run forever. Flashing speed of LED, depends upon the charging and discharging time of the capacitors, variable resistors are used to adjust the flashing speed. In bike turn indicator, we have replaced the red and green LED, with yellow LED. We have changed the location of LED, so that we can easily cut the supply of LED. We have used two 10 kilo ohm resistors, to provide the power supply, to the left and right part of the circuit. Instead of using variable resistor, we have used 47 kilo ohm fixed resistor. When we slide the switch left, then left LED connects with the 9 volt supply, and starts blinking. When we slide the switch right, then right LED connects with the supply, and starts blinking. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a hole, for the slider switch. This is a SPDT slider switch and it has three pins, the middle pin internally connects to the right pin, when we push the throttle to the right, middle pin internally connects to the left pin, 
when we push the throttle to the left. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the yellow LED. Green sleeves are used to avoid the sorting between its two terminals. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are 3 pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the yellow LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. Now we will connect the components with each other, according to the circuit diagram. To avoid any damage in the circuit, make sure that there is no wrong connection or shorting between the components. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will solder the SPDT slider switch and make its connections with the other parts.
Now we will make a hole at each corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery. To test our project, we are using a slider switch to operate the circuit. When switch is pushed towards the left, then left LED starts blinking. And when the switch is pushed towards the right, then right LED starts blinking. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.erltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.